Hi everyone! Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Shukra. So this is going to be my review of the Balenciaga Hourglass bag. So I have it here. <laughs> well, here. <laughs> I have it here in the small and in the pink and it has silver hardware. So I'm going to give you guys basically my review so far. I picked this bag up in December of last year so it's been over six months since I've had this bag and well okay about six months I would say yeah about six months since I've had this bag and I wanted to give you guys an update on how I'm faring with it and if I would recommend getting this bag. So first off I picked this up in the small in the croc embodied um style <laughs> and so it has silver hardware like i said and it comes with a strap strap looks just like this it's just pink um for the most part i really haven't used a strap with this i've just been carrying it top handle um but it's great that it has the strap and you just like you know hook it on you can hook it on um <laughs> you can hook it on over here at the top and then it also has a back flap too so I picked this bag up brand new. I would have to say the price when I picked it up, it wasn't too bad. But I think um, last year at the end of the year, like, you know, this bag was a little bit more like popular. But now that Balenciaga has come out with, you know, a couple more styles that are really hot. I think this style is kind of dying down a little bit, but it's still, you know, one of their top sellers, I believe. So it does not have any feet, but at the bottom, like it curves down like this. So I think that's where you get the name, you know, the hourglass bag from. So it curves down like this. And so these sections could kind of act like the feet because the middle part right here, since it's curved up, doesn't really touch the table, ground, wherever you set it on. Uh, I would have to say that the handle, it's not too thick, but it's not too small. So it's not flimsy or anything like that. Um, the leather feels good. It's still nice to the touch. I really don't have any scratches or anything on this bag. So it is kind of durable, but at the same time, I wouldn't be like throwing this around and just doing whatever. So I picked this up in the small and as far as room goes, you know, fitting things inside, I have to say the small is a pretty good size like this. You can fit your phone. You can fit a bunch of things in here. So it's not too small and it's not too big uh, i think the mini i think that one's a little tougher to put things in but i think the small is just right you can dress this up and you can dress this down which is a great thing about this bag that it's a bag that is very versatile and i do think it depends on the color you pick it up in too so this pink color I think adds to the fact that it can be worn a little bit more casually but then I could dress it up because of the like croc embossed um, that's like you know here on the leather so I think that adds to dressing it up a little bit more so this is a very like you know I would have to say as of right now stylish bag you know um, classic um you know what I think I think probably like you know in the black and the more simple colors you can consider this a classic bag I would say I've seen this, you know, worn from different age groups. Uh, I think the unique thing about this bag, I guess, um, like a lot of other bags, is that it doesn't have a set age group, you know? You could be a little bit older and wear this, and you can be a little bit younger and still wear this too. So I do feel like this is a bag that complements all ages. It's not just like, you know, considered a young person's bag or like, you know, an older person's bag, which is, I think, great and a part of the reason why I was drawn to this bag um originally when i first saw this bag i was like i don't i don't think it's for me but it definitely has grown on me and i definitely do like to incorporate it into like my different outfits when it comes to incorporating this into my outfits i usually I usually like to do color blocking with this bag. Um, since it's pink, I usually try to like coordinate it, like you know, with pink shoes or something, or maybe try to make this be the standout bag because of the color. Um, I would have to say this is a bag that can definitely stand on its own, but at the same time, you could like you know subdue it a little and not have it like you know be the biggest thing you're wearing like you know with your outfit as far as um resell i would have to say if you want to resell this right now i don't think you would make as much money um as you did it, like you know buying it brand new uh because of the fact that valenciaga is like pretty hot right now and a lot of their styles their newer bags are top tier like when it comes to the market so i think with this bag if you want to buy it second hand or pre-used you'll probably get a better deal for it rather than buying it brand new 
Another thing I wanted to point out about this bag is, yes, it's 100% leather, um, but this bag isn't like something you would say is squishy. You know what I mean? It keeps its structure really nicely. And of course it has to keep its structure because of the bottom and how it looks. So that's a definite plus for this bag. Um, if you want a structured bag, this is definitely structured. You're like not gonna have any problems with the sagging or like even if you overstuff it too, um, I don't see like, you know, um, dents showing up or disfiguration of the shape because it's like you know the hourglass bag the shape of this bag is like exactly like you know what makes it so unique so I have to say the structure holds up really well and really nicely um, so like I said I did not use the strap yet um, every time I wear this I just do like the top handle I like top handles a lot but I have to say that the strap that comes with it is a decent size it's not too thick I would have to say it's on the thinner side when it comes to straps and it's adjustable which is great and it has like holes like from like here all the way to like here so it has a really good amount of holes so you can really adjust this to like you know whatever length you want depending on you know how tall you are and how you want it to be proportionate to your body but I have to say the strap is a little bit on like the thinner side and smaller side so it's not too thick so if you like thicker straps that's something to you know definitely keep in mind um, inside like I said, it's pretty roomy for a small, so this is a small. It does have a zip compartment right here, for here. Other than that, there isn't really anything else. So um, the bag is not too big, so it's not like you're gonna get lost in it. Things are not gonna get lost in here, which is good. As far as staining or color transfer, I haven't experienced any staining or color transfer with this bag. This is a pink color, so it's like, you know, on the lighter side. I haven't um, had anything like that with it. It still looks nice and glossy. I know I've only had this for about six months, so I'm not expecting for anything to really be wrong with it unless you know I've been throwing it around in the mud but of course I haven't been doing that but um yeah I have to say like no stains or anything nothing is like coming undone like of the stitching uh the bead like the silver it still looks pretty good of course uh yeah I have to say right now like wear and tear it's pretty good and I have been wearing this bag you know quite a few times so I'm not gonna say I haven't worn this bag and I haven't taken it out I've dressed this up and I've dressed this down I've used this you know in the winter time and I've been using this bag more springtime and I'm pretty sure in the summertime I'm gonna use this bag even more and that's because of the color the pink color mostly um, and it's silver hardware too so I feel like this is definitely gonna be a bag that I'm going to be able to effortlessly throw on with like you know a nice casual outfit but at the same time like I said with the croc emboss embodding um, I'll be able to dress this up too so uh, what I recommend buying this bag I would definitely recommend buying this bag definitely I do feel like it's a very unique bag in my opinion I would recommend getting it but if you do not want to buy it brand new then definitely get it pre-loved um, I brought this brand new but there's nothing wrong with getting it pre-loved or pre-owned um, because on the reseller's market it is relatively lower compared to buying it brand new and as long as you know it checks all the boxes of everything you want great would I buy this bag again in this specific color yes I would I know I think when I unboxed this I was saying something about the color how like I was a little surprised too when I bought this color but I wanted to like you know get some color <laughs> in my bag collection um so I would definitely pick this up again in this color uh I would pick it up again in another color too I think for a bag like this I wouldn't pick it up in a black or a neutral I would try to like always stick to um brighter colors or different colors for a bag like this because of the fact that it's not I guess it is a classic bag I guess consider kind of with the structure top handle and stuff but at the same time it's a stylish bag so I would definitely go a little bit on the wall side walk a little towards color when it comes to a bag like this and then um, with like you know more classic bags classy bags I would do like more of the like neutral black colors like that but yes I would re buy this bag 
um, brand new and I would buy it again if I found one that was pre-loved um, I would buy this color again I would buy more colors I think getting this in like a yellow would be great getting this in a red or a green would also be great so yeah I definitely recommend picking up this bag and I would say pick it up in a color because this bag isn't something that you know I feel like just it it needs to be in a pop of color to make it stand out even more than like you know it normally does and uh, you can get it in the smooth letter or you can get it in the croc emboss like this um, and I think it'll, it'll look great and like I said it's for all ages in my opinion um, you don't have to be old you don't have to be young to pick up this bag it keeps the structure and um, yeah so I think this is pretty much it for my update, like my review update of the Balenciaga Hourglass bag in size small um, in silver hardware with croc and boss. Um, and yeah, so if you're on the market, this is definitely my thumbs up to say to get it. And like I said, you can get it pre-loved and it won't be an issue or you can get it brand new like I did. So. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed my review of my Balenciaga Hourglass bag. Please make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the like button as well and come back for more videos. Bye!